Cases of COVID-19 are climbing in most states, but a highly notable one is our neighbor to the west, Wisconsin. Yesterday, Michigan reported 1,586 cases. Wisconsin reported 4,721 cases with a population only about 60% of ours. Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us to explain why their situation should be a cautionary tale, even with uh, Lake Michigan between us, Doc. Absolutely, Kim and Devin. You know, let's be clear about something off the top. We expect cases to continue to increase again in Michigan. It's really more a question of how far and how fast. And that's why looking to our West is really instructive. Their case numbers shot up like a rocket and ours are aiming that way. This blue line that is rising significantly higher than the rest of us is Wisconsin. Their Supreme Court issued a ruling striking down the state's stay at home orders. And if we're not careful, and if we don't all do our part, this could be our fate very quickly as well. COVID-19 is a public health crisis occurring in a year full of political disagreements. And like Wisconsin, Michigan's legislature and governor have clashed over the steps necessary to control the pandemic. Wisconsin had a safer at home order that was struck down in May. Since then, many indoor businesses and gathering places have been open, but the ultimate fuel for their takeoff appears to be the return to college campuses. You can see on this graph that until the beginning of September, Wisconsin held new cases under a thousand a day. Since September 9th, their case counts have gone up. Now in Michigan, we crossed the 1,000 case a day mark roughly three weeks later on October 2nd, and our cases are headed up as well. That doesn't necessarily mean we're destined to follow their lead by three weeks, but everyone should take the trend seriously. One of the current hotspots in Michigan is the UP, which borders Wisconsin. You can even see the relationship in new cases between Wisconsin and our Upper Peninsula on this map. Michigan has also struggled with cases related to the return to college campuses, from Michigan State early on to the University of Michigan's current stay-at-home order. Wisconsin's ICUs are filling up, and they've opened a field hospital to handle the intense volume of COVID hospitalizations, the same volume Southeast Michigan saw during the spring wave. Now, hopefully, if everyone in Michigan takes our current increase seriously, and hopefully we learn a lesson from Wisconsin, we can limit a repeat of what happened to us in the spring. But to give you a measure of how serious some of the preparations are, I was actually on a call yesterday updating healthcare providers on the statewide COVID response and the topic of mortuary teams, the, abil the availability of refrigerated trailers and body bags was actually discussed. Does Back not to you. sound good. So we want to do what we can to not follow their lead. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, we appreciate it.